Here, as you can see, the cat's uh, ears look a little bit more pointy now. Hello YouTube, welcome back to another Roblox scripting tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to use the terrain editor. And I'm going to be making a tutorial on making awesome lighting effects as well. So if you combine what you learn in this video with the lighting video, it'll look even better. So make sure that you subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on that cool stuff. Okay, so you're going to want to first start out by deleting the spawn location. You can click it and then press delete on your keyboard. And then you're going to want to delete the base plate. Click it and you can right click and press delete or you can press delete as you did before. Okay, so what is the terrain editor? So this terrain editor thing is this sort of window that Roblox provides you with and it allows you to add like grass, water, lava, all sorts of cool terrain stuff. And you can really, really make some sort of like environment for your game. And to find this terrain editor, you're going to want to go to view and then you're going to want to find this terrain editor right here. You're going to click on it and boom. There is the terrain editor. Oh, it looks so boring. Well, here's what we're going to do to make it look more fun. Right now you have, you can see that there's two selections. There's create and there's edit. We're going to start with create and I'm going to teach you how to use this. So this generate button right here, it will literally generate terrain around some sort of area for you. So for example, this is an area and I can choose a bunch of stuff. Like, do I want water? Do I want a marsh? Do I want plains? Do I want hills? Like, what do I want? So I want water and let's select a bunch of things just to show you what it does. I can even add lava as you can see, I can add mountains, I can even add the Arctic. So I'm just gonna, actually I'm gonna get rid of a couple of things just to show you these two. I'm gonna show you water and the lava scape. And I'm gonna click generate and boom, there it is. Roblox automatically generated water and automatically generated this lava, this sort of lava thing. And if I wanna make this selection bigger, I can easily do that. And I can easily do that by doing this right here. I just take this little uh, circle looking thing, the sphere looking thing, and then I click it and then I just drag it and the selection is automatically bigger. So I can drag it, I can drag this, I can drag this. If I wanna make it a little bit taller, I can drag this green guy right here. And as you can see, the selection got bigger, but our train inside didn't change. So that is because we need to regenerate it. So, so far we have water and lava scape. So if I wanna add hills and mountains, I'm just gonna click it and then I'm gonna click generate and it's just gonna override what we have and it generated that for us. So as you can see, there's some lava right here. There is some grass and some, I guess Roblox thinks this is mountains. <laughs> Not really sure, but it tried its best to give us what we wanted and ooh, even gave us a little cave here. Ooh, that's cool. Okay, so now that you know how to generate your terrain, I'm gonna teach you how to edit it. So right now it generated all this and let's say I'm not really happy with this. How do I edit it? So I can go to this edit thing right here. And as you can see, there's a bunch of options. I can select, which allows me to select certain parts of the terrain, just like that. I can transform certain parts of the train. Let's say I wanna rotate it, woo, there we go. So if you, first what you wanna do is you wanna select it and then you can rotate it. So let's say I just wanted to rotate like this small segment right here, I would select it right here, then I would go to transform and then I can rotate it just like that. And I can also move it using these arrows right here. So if I didn't, if I just wanted that selection, then I can just move it and now we're left with this, this sort of gap right here. And another thing I can do is I can fill it. So if I want like one selection to just be one material, I can fill it. So I'm just gonna make this, let's say ice and I click apply, boom. Roblox filled that selection with just ice. I can resize it, then I can choose a different and I can click apply. There we go, there's my cracked lava. Or is that, I think that's what's, yeah, that's what it's called, cracked lava, okay. Also, if you want to make selections easier, you can just drag your mouse and Roblox will kind of figure it out for you, just like that. Then I can just click on a material, click apply and it will fill it. Okay, we can also draw. So this kind of gives us a brush. And let's, so what it allows us to do here is we can choose a material like ice and then I can draw and it will just kind of, kind of paints the terrain. So if I want a certain area to have ice, for example, if I just want this area, then I can draw it. And this is actually really fun. Also, if you wanna get rid of certain terrain, you just click on this subtract right here. If I don't like this brick, I can just subtract it away. If I don't like this ice, I can just subtract it away. And this allows us to really get into the fine details. I can even make a cave by using the subtract. Really, really cool. Now there's a cave. I can just go through it and there it is. We can also change the shape of the brush that we are using. So I was using a sphere. I can change it to a cube. This allows us to make a boom. Oops, <laughs> we subtracted, a, we subtracted a, uh, a cube. We subtracted a cube out of the bricks. So I can actually change this to add. If I wanna make an ice cube, I can just click. There's my ice cube. One more time, click. There's a better ice cube. Just like that. And I can, boom, ice cube. Boom, ice cube. Just like that. 
I can create any sort of shape of terrain that I want using this shape. If I want to make it a cylinder, I can make an ice cylinder just like that. And that's kind of like a dome. So if you if you have some sort of build and you want to just add some sort of decoration, like maybe you're into these cylindrical looking things, <laughs> you can do this and wow, I can turn this into like I can turn this into like a gate. So if I wanted to make a gate, I just add onto here just like that and then I would just go over here and I would pull it down and just like that I've created an ice gate just like that oh it also looks like a dog let's give it a tail okay let me boom 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 and boom there we go <laughs> I made a dog okay okay hold on I want to give it make it a little bit better if I want to change the brush size, I can increase it just like that. I can give it a proper... There we go. I give it like a head. And if I want... So, for example, I can take this brush size. I can make it smaller. I can give it eyes. I'm going to change this brush size to one. Boom. And boom. Now, this is like a snow dog. I can even give it like a little smiley face. <laughs> this is my snow dog. Or snow cat. We can turn it into a cat. So to turn into a cat, we can take this and go back to the uh, cube tool. We can change the base size a little bit. We have to give it ears. So I have no idea what animal I'm turning this into, but it looks pretty interesting so far. Okay, so that's the draw tool. I'm going to use the sculpt tool now. If I want to sculpt something, I just click on it and it will grow out of the terrain. So I don't want to mess up my cat. I'm just going to go over here. If I want the terrain to grow out of a certain area, I would use the sculpt tool. So if I want to change it to like asphalt, just click and hold and it will kind of grow out just like that. And if I want to make another gate, I just click and hold and it will grow out. And then I just have to kind of fiddle with my mouse here and make it, make it go. Oh, I just kind of have to fiddle with the camera angle and make it come down and right there, there's my gate. So Roblox will kind of automatically blend the materials. As you can see here, if you get closer, it will blend whatever two materials there are to make it look very, very nice. Okay, so let's say that I wanted to get some fine detail into my materials, into my terrain. So what I would do is I'd go to this smooth right here. I would change the brush to whatever I wanted. And then if I click and hold, it will kind of smoothen the terrain out. So if you see there's this rough spot right here, I would click on smooth, boom, smoother. So for example, another example is this right here, this looks kind of rough. If I want to smoothen it out, you have to be a little bit careful with this or it'll take too much away. But for example, right here, as you can see, the cat's uh, ears look a little bit more pointy now. I can click on this, there we go. And if I want to smoothen out the other ear, I can do so just like that. It might not be symmetrical, but you get the point. <laughs> also, what happened to the eyes? Hold on, we have to give this cat new eyes before we continue this video, this is important. Mm, there we go. Better smile. Smile. There we go. Okay. It's not too bad. <laughs> okay, so let's say you wanted to flatten out a certain part. Let's say this is too uh, elevated for you. You would click and it would get flattened by using this tool right here. Just click somewhere and Roblox will flatten it. So if I didn't like the pointy ears, I can flatten it. And as you can see, Roblox is just going to flatten the ears for me. So this is all fine tuning stuff. If I didn't like the way that this body was formed, I can flatten it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit more to the cat. I'm going to use a sculpt tool, the ice tool. And I'm going to add a little bit more to the cat to give it a little bit more body mass. My ice cat. <laughs> this is just for fun, guys. This is not like, it's not me being serious. But as you can see, this is actually a really cool tool and we can add a little bit more to the cat. Now it's got a little bit more defined body shape. And if we use what we learned before with the tail, we can, let's see, I would use a sculpt tool for this. Just add a little bit more to the tail. Now the tail is a little bit longer, but I don't like the way that this is formed. So I'm going to use a flatten tool. Or no, I want, I'm going to use the smooth tool. There we go. That's what I wanted right there. Now, tail looks a little bit better. So as you can see, we're kind of, <laughs> we're taking this joke of a cat and we're turning it into an actual cat. 
started as a joke but now it's no longer a joke and as you can see this cat right now well, this used to be a bridge but this cat right now it only has one leg and i want to give it more than one leg so i would use the sculpt tool and i'm gonna click on ice i want to give this more than one leg but to do that i think i'm gonna have to add a little bit more to the body so i'm just gonna add i'm gonna actually take this into a three-dimensional world here we're gonna make this cat three-dimensional so just kind of dragging along the cat to give it more of a body shape and we're gonna do the same thing to the other side this is not gonna work okay so let's say that instead of ice right here I wanted to make this a grass material I would click on paint and then I would choose some sort of material like ground and I just paint over it pretty simple I can change any material to any other material I want so if I want to change this sort of color of my cat instead of being a snow cat I can make it this uh what is this ground cat <laughs> I can just paint over it and it will replace the material and boom so I can actually make this like half snow half ground if I wanted to but I'm just gonna paint it all ground just so you guys can see it and there you go that is the paint tool now, let's say you don't like your terrain you would go back into the create window and then you click on clear and it will clear all your terrain just like that and the last tool is the sea level tool this allows us to evaporate water so i'm just going to change my selection over here to make sure i get everything and i'm just going to move it down a little bit and there we go so if i want to evaporate this water i just click on evaporate and there goes my water it kind of uh evens out the sea level right here so if you're interested in this terrain stuff, here is one that I created for the game, a game that I'm making actually. And as you can see, I've combined really cool lighting with like some wind modules. I didn't make this wind module, but I combined really cool lighting with really cool terrain. And this is like a final product for the game. Some things got changed around. All right, guys, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.